you see there's a logo up there and it is giraffe kings sports book you know the leaders in the sports book and world man top rated safe secure when you're talking about sports booking when you're talking about the potential to earn money these are the type of sites that you want specifically because of that reliability because of how easy it is to use as well and the plethora of options that you have whether you're talking same game parlays whether you're talking futures bets shoot we know the football season just ended but for other sports that are popping up nba we know march man is going to be coming up any of the things you're trying to potentially put wagers down on and have an opportunity to make a little money off of Who's going to pick you in the the draft? Absolutely. This is the app you want to use. Now, you know, we don't just talk about them if we ain't got something for you. Okay? Because we are team promo code over here. Because if we got a promo code, that can help you all out. All right? So when you first download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, make sure you utilize the promo code MOATS, M-O-A-T-S, when you make your first wager. Okay? Because your first bet of a minimum of five dollars you make that you will receive two hundred dollars in free bets to utilize to get an opportunity to make more money i mean it's a dope concept it's free money that's what it sounds like free money is what it sounds like to me so you gotta make sure you use that promo code moats all right but we also know that some people struggle deep some people can't have that much fun it happens shoot i know this one person man they had a gambling problem some crisis counseling and they needed some referral services so the New York folk, I told them, man, this is number right here that you can call or text. But for the people that were living in other parts of the area, the number they needed to call was 1-800-GAMBLER. I said 1-800-GAMBLER. I heard you bring up the Mitch element of it and how tough of a scenario it was for him and things like that. And we get that. How did you think the rookie handled the scenario, though, when he finally did get the keys to the car, so to speak, man, coming in here, doing all of those same things you're talking about in terms of replacing Mitch, who was replacing seven. But even with the hype coming from him playing at Pitt and having the success that he had there, how do you think that Kenny did? Um, I think he did as any rookie would in that situation. You going you got the keys to the Ferrari cuz that's what it is. <laughs> no facts. You know, and you going to try to go fast and you going to think you going to think you're going fast but you know, you 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 peel out and you hit something. You are like, "Oh man, I didn't know that the, the gas pedal was that fast." <laughs> like, you know. And that's what happens in the NFL. Like, and you most you know as a rookie, man, your head was spinning, way, bro. <laughs> pre, preseason was way different than the opening kickoff. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, of, it, like I'm not even talking about a defensive snap. I'm talking about the opening <laughs> kickoff of the NFL. Hey, bro, night it's, and day. It, the speed, the intensity. And, <laughs> everything. So you got this quarterback who has to know where everybody is, has to make audibles, read defenses, can't do the same old tricks that he was doing in college, got to reinvent himself, got to think of ways to stand out, got to think of ways to lead the team, and then win games for you. I ain't even say anything about winning. He has to win games for you. Yeah. So, I, you know, I think he did what any rookie would do. So I'll make a lot of turnovers, make a lot of bad mistakes. But what he did show was his ability to recalibrate mm. and, his ability, and, his, and his ability to lead. And that's when you know you got some intangibles in a, in a, in a, in a, in a great leader. I, I would say a good leader, not great yet, but a good leader and a person that understands his limitations, you know, and said, okay, how, what am I doing to hurt this team? What am I doing? How can I get better? How can we massage the game plan? How can we massage the play calling in situational football? What do I need to do? You know, and I think he I think he leveled that up, especially the last four games of the season, not having as many turnovers. But those first few games, he wrecked a Ferrari. Let's just <laughs> let's just call let's just call it what it is. He say y'all NASCAR okay. man, let him drive That's that okay. thing, man. You got to drive the whip every once you know, in a while. You know, but man. then but then he learned how to hit two hundred and have control, <laughs> and that's and that's what happened. So you know, I, I like I like what he's doing. You know, and I think he's going to build a strong legacy here and be a really good quarterback and a really good leader uh, for for the Pittsburgh Steelers. We got a picket guy here. I like that. I like what you're saying. <laughs> So, Deke, what's up? What's going on, man? Deke couldn't How wait. How you to doing, he, man? He couldn't wait to hear you say something positive about Kenny. His face started lighting up. He's like, "Oh yeah, we good. We good now." But, but I did have to. I gotta criticize him for the early 
you know, the early rookie mistake. Yeah. You know, the fans yelling for his name, but his, he wasn't really ready. And that's okay. But he but he recalibrated. Yeah. And that's what matters the most. That's what matters the most. 